Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it's time for something different. Uh, so I was going to be doing something else, except that plans got shifted around in ways that ended up being not necessary, but, you know, you, you do what you do. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the three plans that I had for this uh, little interstitial period between now and May 21st is, um, I'm calling it The Overachiever. Uh, this is going to be a stream that I just go through some uh, NES games and get some retro achievements. And if you're not familiar with what retro achievements are, you can go over to retroachievements.org and uh, yeah, there's a whole mess of um, people who just create achievements for retro games. It's kind of wild. So we're going to get some of those. And uh, in particular, uh, I'm going to be focusing on something that I have done on my old YouTube channel. And that is this. This is the Supervision 110 in 1 multi card. This is something that I had as a kid. Um, it doesn't quite have 110 games. Also, I can't hear anything. Hmm. That's a problem. Oh, that's why. Because I don't have the game thing open. There we go. There we go. This, yes. um, so a list of 110 games. It doesn't actually have 110 games, but it has a lot of them. Uh, it has 93 games. Everything beyond this point is just hacks of previous games, but that's still a pretty good number for one of these multi cards. Um, so yeah, a long time ago, uh, from what I can see, 14 years ago, wow, um, I did a Let's Play of this multi-card. Uh, not necessarily playing games until the end. Uh, I know that there's one game that I actually did finish, that was uh, Antarctic Adventure, number 87. Um, I actually did complete an entire loop of Antarctica. But, um, yeah, we spent a lot of time on this multi-card as kids, just me and my, uh, me and my cousins, just, yeah. So, we're gonna be doing this, and, uh, we're gonna be, uh, trying to get some achievements from these games. Obviously, I'm going to be... Uh, opening the games uh, individually if I try to open them from the multi-card. It's not going to register any achievements. So let's start with the first one that I have planned here. I say as though I have more than one game planned. Let's drop that in. This game has 41 achievements. And it is called the Flipple. And if you're wondering what that uh, clock in the corner there means, basically the plan is to be playing a game for about half an hour. Uh, then we'll move on to something else. Uh, so it's a bit in the vein of Zero's 30 minute games, except that I'm also doing achievements. That's my twist to it. Anyway, um... There is, and I'm going to start the clock now, down, left, right, up, A, right, down, B, up, left, ah, okay, down, left, right, up, A, right, down, B, up, left, start. That didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. I think uh, the buttons are a little weird. Down, left, right, up, A, right, down, B, up, left, start. There we go. That's our first achievement. We have a Taito code. There are 250 stages. We're obviously not going to be playing every stage. 
but there is an achievement for going to stage 250 and clearing that. Also, hey, Zero, and uh, since I didn't say it, hey, Jewel. That's the nice thing with uh, with starting at level 250 is uh, you don't have to worry about lives too much. You just start with your three lives, and that's it. So I can just kind of brute force my way through this stage. I'll get into a little bit more about like how this game works once we actually like. Oh, geez. Oh, the time is going real fast, actually. I don't think that's real seconds. Okay. I was worried there that it was going to force me to lose. Yay, we win! <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but, uh, it's happy times. Also, I think I'm going to move the... I move that up there. Because we had stuff coming up, uh in the bottom right. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is down, left, right, up, A, right, down, B, up, left, start. Um, I, there isn't actually a stage 251, so don't get too excited. We're going to go to stage 89. It is stage 89, right? Yeah. Yeah, these, um, these seconds look a little more normal. Maybe a little fast, but, uh, we're, we're not going down at, like, five seconds a second here. Now you might be wondering why uh, stage 89 is because this game came out in 1989. That's the reasoning that they had to put this uh, this achievement in. You know what? I'm okay with that. Um. Dang. And there we go. Just clear. Just clear is when you do not miss, and uh, well, do not miss as in like run out of moves, and uh, also finished within the exact clear number. Now that should have unlocked an achievement, but I don't see that it has. Maybe it was expecting me to do a regular clear instead of a just clear. And because I did a just clear, it didn't count. I'm gonna try to clear this stage and then we'll reset and go back to stage one. And then I'll explain what this game actually is. It's a bit self-explanatory for the most part, but um... It, it helps to, uh, to just clear things up if they're not clear. And that's a 1-up achievement. Ex 
exciting cube one up. There we go. Now, if it doesn't give me a v the achievement, I'm just gonna reset anyway. Okay. So now we're getting into the actual game here. Um, so I'm gonna play on normal. Advance is more of a puzzle mode. But uh, yes, you play as Flipple. And um, I, I assume that the character's name is Flipple. I have not ever confirmed that. But yes, you're throwing your, your block that is in your hand at the blocks that are in the stack. And if you match a block, it will clear out. If a block does not match, that block will come back to you and you throw that instead. If it doesn't match in the first place, then it'll get violently rejected back to you and try again. You see a number, a uh, clear number 9 there, that is how many blocks that, like the maximum number of blocks you can have in the stack when you run out of moves that will result in you advancing to the next stage. Now there are two special clear conditions. You saw one of them uh, while I was trying to do that uh, stage 89 achievement, just clear. And that is, if your clear number is, for example, 9, and you run out of moves when your stack is at 9, that is a just clear, and you'll get one of those, uh, those fruit block stages that actually scores double points. Um, the way that I have figured, and I might be wrong, is if you get a just clear, you get one bonus stage. You can also get um, perfect, which is your stack has exactly three blocks left in it. And if you can manage that, uh, then you get, I think you get unlimited bonus stages until you miss. So once you have missed, once you've lost a life, then the next stage will be a regular stage. I could be wrong on that, but uh, from my experience, that's how it's played out. Also, like, I don't have a hard limit of 30 minutes on these, or we're, we're gonna go for about 30 minutes. Chances are I'm gonna forget the, the time at some point, so... And there we go! Just clear! And we got 20,000 points, which gives us an extra life. These columns here, uh, you can bump up against the column to, uh, to drop a block on top of the stack. Or you can also uh, throw a block that will go through a column. Achievement for 25,000 points. And there we 
we go. Now, of course, you get a time bonus. And then the clear bonus is basically the difference between the number of blocks in the stack and the clear uh, quotient, or quota rather. So right now the clear quota is 8. Uh, if I finish with 8 blocks in the stack, dumbs away to miss. Okay, sure. If, if you clear with 8 blocks in the stack, then um, you get 1,000 blocks. If you clear with 5 blocks with a clear level of 8, then you would get 4,000 points. Because the difference between block and clear plus 1. Times a thousand. Mm. We're gonna lose a life here, but we're gonna get it right back. Because clearing a, uh, a lightning block in the stack, of course, gets you an extra life. And getting lightning blocks in the stack, as far as I know, is just random. It might not be, but like... I, I haven't seen any sort of pattern. Hmm... I could end up getting that extra life, but the problem is behind the extra life is a, um, a green block. And I wouldn't be able to get very far with that. There we go, we'll be able to get it this way. Clear. So we get another double score bonus stage. And another uh, extra life and another achievement. Big points. So the points that you get for multi clears is um, the the number of panels you have cleared uh, cubed, and then. Uh, times 100, and if, if it's a bonus stage like this, times 2. One away from getting a perfect there. Unfortunately, weren't able to quite get there. The next stage is going to be normal because I got that bonus on a just clear. And I got myself stuck. I also notice now that uh, one of the achievements is to clear 100 panels without missing. And I think I... Cleared myself into a corner here. Hey Graham, how you doing? We're doing retro achievements today. This one. 
Now we're gonna finish with a stack of three, but I missed, so it's going to be a regular clear. The the achievements are not going to recognize that that was a normal clear. So I'm going to get the perfect clear achievement without actually deserving it. Whoops. Um, well, that was a bad decision. Still burping up ma- Why are you eating magic cards? Like, that is my question. To make them... Aha! I was right. You're forcing the market value to go up. Well... I'm gonna need seven. Okay, this, this is gonna give us a clear. Now I should be able to get this uh, Taito logo. I might have been able to finagle that into a just clear, but whatever. And here's the time for some comedy! Oh, look at that! Wiggle, wiggle! <laughs> and Twitch told me I was like... Twitch told you I was like 30 minutes late. That sounds like Twitch, yeah. Definitely has some strategy to this. Not a whole lot, but like... If you're able to plan your moves ahead a little bit, it definitely helps. Uh, to nine, and eight! Just clear! Alright, time for bonus times. Fruity Cube Salad. Let's go. This drink ever clear. Looking. I was trying to get into the fifth column there, but uh, there is no way in there from the top. Um, ah, there we go. Continuum combo. Eight. 
don't think we can get it perfect, so let's just go for the just clear. Let's keep the train rolling. Ooh, that's a big string there. I don't think we'll be able to properly capitalize on that, but let's see. Well, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Boom! King of Combo. And also with the uh, the double score bonus. However, I think I'm forced into a miss here. This is, this is suddenly falling apart. Out of lives. Let's see how far we can take this. Well, no matter if I do. Oh no, but I can't get into the top from here. All oh, butts. <laughs> Master of the bottom entrance, jeez. This is going. Well, I didn't manage to get the one up, but at least we cleared. I'm taking this bus to the moon. Another one up on this stage. Uh, looking at the time, doesn't look like an going to uh, have the opportunity here to show off advanced mode. Well, then again, I think we're I think we're toast. I think the dream is over here. No next move. Now you do have three continues, but for the sake of time here, let's show off advanced mode. Advanced mode is a little more puzzling. Here you have power. Over on the uh, over on the side here, we start with a specific block. Sometimes it can be a um, uh, lightning block, but the goal is to do what you need to do to get a perfect. I also noticed that there is a um, there's a speedrun achievement that is currently active. So yeah, every throw costs one power, whether or not it clears anything. So if you waste a throw, 
you are wasting power. If you don't do anything for long enough, you're also wasting power. And you run out of power, you run out of game. This is dad mode? I don't understand what you mean by that. I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing this than the way that I'm doing, but I do want to see where this, uh, this speed run achievement takes us. And I was trying to save power with the AC. I still don't understand what you're going on. that thing gets morbid. Okay. Well, fair enough. I'll take your word for it. Maybe it's a little lost on me for the fact that uh, growing up I never had AC. What I did have was uh, you know, a basement bedroom that um, basically had a window on uh, both corners. And uh, on a good summer day, like, it was a real nice breeze. The word of a magic card eating me. I'm gonna guess that this, uh, this. Speedrun achievement is uh, clear the first 10 stages in the fastest time. Okay, uh, we're not done yet. I think if you miss in this mode, um, then you miss in real life. No, uh, you, yeah, have no next move. Oh well. Well, we're at about the half hour mark anyway, so um, I'm gonna call that good. Okay. Now, reset that. And next, we're going to play There's 93 games on this list. Um, if you want to make any suggestions, here's the old playlist. Um, feel free to suggest anything from that list. That's what I have up right now. Goodness, so many options. Let's do Lunar Ball.
or as it is known in North America. There we go. Lunar Cool. go with uh, standard friction. I'm not I'm not gonna look at the uh, the achievement list ahead of time for all of these but you know we'll play by it. I'm gonna just play a one player game and uh, let's get started. The lunar pool pretty simple you got some balls Shoot them in the holes with your uh, with your cue ball. The power gauge up there goes up and down. And you push the button, launches the cue ball at whatever power it stops on. Now that did cost us a shot, but if you sink something, you get your shots back. You lose all of your shots or scratch, then you lose a ball. You can see in the middle there, ball zero three. You lose all your balls, the game is over. Uh, Grim, we do definitely not have that. For multiple reasons. Also, like, I am very tired of the, hey, play this stupid game lol meme. Oh, just made it in. So as you um, as you sink balls uh, without missing, you'll see the rate go up, and that is basically a multiplier. definitely in your best interest to just keep sinking balls, but uh, unfortunately, not the best of this game. Uh, if you manage to sink all of the balls on stage without missing, you get a perfect bonus. You also get extra rate bonuses if um, if you manage to sink multiple balls in one shot. Boom. Hey, let's go. I think you also get a 1-up every time you clear a stage, and you get another one if um, you get a perfect. As you saw in the menu screen, uh, you can also adjust the uh, table friction. And I just scratched, so we shall lose a ball and try again. Ah. Okay, that wasn't a scratch. Didn't sink anything, but it wasn't a scratch. But yeah, you can adjust the friction, so you can have like... Oh, look at that! Not nearly that power. Ah! You can have it so that the ball will barely move at all, even if you shoot at full power. Or you can have it so that the balls will not stop moving and you're basically guaranteed to uh, scratch every time. There we go. Yeah, we've gotten a whole lot of achievements. 
so far. A lot of movement there, but nothing went in. Shot and get this three in pretty easily. Yeah. Hey. shot with weird physics, but uh, hey, this is this is Lunar Pool. Doesn't have to make sense. Yeah, you're not wrong, Jewel. It, it is a bit mini golfish with these silly tables. I mean, th this is how they play pool on the moon. It's a well-known fact. I don't think I'm going to be getting this. Let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, that, is, that puts me in a real awkward spot, actually. And we, we, we lost the ball. Oh, come on! Bah! Ow! There we go. Sometimes you want to not hit it as hard as you can. Where am I on the moon? I'm in, I'm in the pink area of the moon. I mean, obviously. The, ph the physics are a little weird sometimes, but uh, mostly alright. Got two in! Also, how far away your cursor is from the ball doesn't matter at all, that's just for reference. Like it doesn't affect your power or anything, or spin, or anything like that. It is just there to help you make your shot. Not that it's much help to me, apparently. Okay, we still have two shots left. Oh, come on, really? Last shot. Hmm. 
There we go. Now what to do about you? Not exactly how I intended that to go, but... Uh... This just seems like the opposite angle shot of what I just did. Oh! Mmm. Adjust the aim a little bit and scratch anyway. Last ball. There we go. I think once I inevitably game over here, we'll uh, we'll give it a try with some other uh, friction settings. Oh, double high score. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oof. Not really happy with my position, though. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so um, let's try the obvious thing and turn friction off. The only way that a ball can ever stop in this is by hitting another ball just head on. In such a way that uh, it will transfer all of its kinetic energy. to not scratch there. <laughs> we are now playing the screensaver, yes. I think I'm gonna scratch though. Yep, off I go. Anyway, we get the point. Let's try the other way. Maximum friction. progress. Prefer 3D pipes. Well, we're not going to get very far with 255 friction, but uh, maybe at the very least we can get through one stage. Well, we got through one stage at the very least. 
Let's see how far we can make it. Probably not far. I am not very good at this game. One thing that I don't understand, though, is how are there 71 achievements for this? And we found, like, three. Oh, this poor shark. How does he make the balls stop on a dime like that? Well, that's simple. Let's turn the friction way up. I realize that this discovery might rub people the wrong way. And this is probably where the run ends. Especially if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna scratch like that. Uh, that was a little more power than uh, than I would have liked, actually. A little less power than I would have liked. There we go. Make it this shot or nothing. Holy crap, we did it! Let's go, boys and girl. All those formless, heartless. How can you be so heartless? Okay. Now how do I deal with you? The answer is probably I don't. Oh, that's a good start. Get it off the wall. Uh, 
Actually, I'd have a better shot on the two. If it'll even reach. Three shots to get this three in. One. Well, that ain't great. Eh, stop turning. Two. Huh? No. I made it farther than I thought I would. Alright, let's turn it back to 32 and let's go to a different round. Let's, uh, let's say around... By the way, it goes up to 60. Let's uh, go around 10. Jewel the pencils. That's a double. Oh, right. Steam pop-ups. Uh, hang on. Uh, the problem is I had to turn on uh, window capture because... Um, I mean, there, al there are also steam pop-ups. Let me turn on Do Not Disturb. That should hopefully fix that. Disables all chat notifications. Usually I use game capture and that uh, that eliminates the problem, but uh, game, game capture decided to not work. Well, that was cool. Not sure what I was expecting, but it wasn't that, I don't think. I mean, it was partly that, just not, uh... That would have probably went a little differently if, uh, this had, like, a full physics model. But look at that, we're gonna get perfect on this. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh, there is a perfect achievement for every round. Oh no. That's why there are 71. Well, that's definitely not a perfect. I'm not going to try for that three. I'm just going to scratch on that thing. Then again, I can just scratch on any ball, really. <laughs> Maybe if I hit the forehead on. That's better. Hey, J-Pop, how you doing? We're doing retro achievements today. Didn't even sink the three. How offensive. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have hit that as hard as I can. Hmm. 
Got a double in. Ow. Oh. There we go. Well, this looks like a pattern. I'll just do this. About what I was expecting. cat, so I guess I could be a paper pattern. Am I gonna sink anything? I don't think it will. No, that also makes this shot a little complicated, actually. Ah, no! I guess that works. This two is kind of screwed, though. Well, no. Ah. Uh. Well, that sucked. We're not quite at thirty minutes, but I think that's good enough. Okay. I think I know what we're playing next. It's a very rude game. That has 130 achievements? Holy crap. What am I doing? Oops. We're gonna play another game that uh, I actually did end up doing. Did I end up doing? No, I requested a few people do playthroughs of this game. Anyway, I'm playing Mighty Bomb Jack. So we're playing as Jack. We uh, are sent to clean out this pyramid of bombs that were put there by Beelzebut, I believe is his name. Now you can get all of the bombs, or you can just not. I messed up the pattern. There is a specific pattern that uh, that you can get in every stage that will give you a bonus if you manage to uh, clear it correctly. Thank you. 
So yeah, there, there is like this game is all about air control. Uh, you, you press A, you jump high. You press A and up, you jump even higher. You press A while in midair, and it resets your uh, your uh, vertical speed. You can also like float slowly like this. Easy to find, hard to get. And this is the bonus round. Now this time it'll actually show you which one is the next in the pattern. If you manage to get the entire pattern correct, you get a bonus. At any point you can get those uh, those power-ups, like the one that I just got, to turn all of the enemies on s uh, all the enemies on screen into golden coins. And you know what, since I've been getting all of the chests here, you see I'm getting uh, mighty coins. And you see I have nine right now. Well, let's see what happens if I get another one. Oh no! We got greedy and got sent to the torture room. Which is literally just a room where you have to evade enemies and jump 50 times to get out. Okay, this isn't a terrible uh, selection of enemies. The enemies that spawn, by the way, are based on how many times you press A. So you will get sent to the torture room if your mighty coins get beyond 9, if your time gets beyond 99, or sometimes if the game just feels like it. So what do you do with the mighty coins anyway, because I haven't used a single one yet. Give me a second here, see if I can get that, uh, there we go. So if you use one, you, you turn blue, which means nothing right now. If you use two, you turn kind of peach, I guess, and you can open chests by walking into them. And if you use three, it has the same power as uh, one of those power-up thingies that we've been finding. You cannot use your uh, your mighty coins in a bonus room. coins will uh, increase your uh, bonus round bonus, and a, a, a mummy falling on you will result in your death. And I'm not even gonna make it through the first stage. Almost just got juke there. Your power does go down after a certain amount of jumps. So you don't necessarily go back to the start of the stage, you go back to the start of the previous room. Just that stage one is one single room, so you do go back to the start. Okay, got all the bombs, the door opens. Uh, 
and we get a special bonus of 50,000 points. So you get 50,000 for getting all 23 firebombs, you get uh, like 30,000 if you miss one, uh, and like 20,000 if you miss two, and anything below that you don't get anything. Uh, I should probably use my coins. Also, I think there's like something here. Sometimes you can like jump off of one of these uh one of these platforms and something hidden will show up. And sometimes it's one of these. These sphinxes will open a door. Also, that mighty potion that we got um, gives us additional time. I just use our mighty coins unless they uh, overtake us here. So you see these chests looking different. Um, regular bomb jack can uh, cannot open those. You have to have at least one mighty level. If you have one mighty level, you can jump off of it to open it. If you have two mighty levels, then you can just run into it to open it. Ah, uh, we missed one. But we still get 30,000 points. And there is one other thing that we can do with the firebombs, and if I can remember, I'll show it off in the next bonus round. Well, poop. Sometimes that just happens, and there's little you can do about it. Also, let's see if I can get the, um... The correct order of the bombs. I probably am gonna mess it up at some point, but we're gonna try. Uh, also, that chime da -da 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 -da, means uh, you collected enough bombs that the next chest you open will have one of those uh, power pellets. This is going down to up. Ah. You do get a special bonus for getting all of the bombs in the correct order. So now let me show the other thing that you can do with firebombs is not collect them. You have to collect at least one. Now what happens if we only collect just the one? you were trying to get noticed. Well, what is this? We've gone straight to the next bonus room. And yes, you absolutely can ride that to the end of the game. But keeping in mind that if you die, you go back to the last non-bonus room you were in. And if that was in round one, 
you're going back to round one. On top of that, you absolutely can ride that too far and go back to the start of the game. get through that door, and what is beyond that door? Aha! We found a sphinx! Wonder what's down here? Oh! It's a bomb jack! Matter of honor, better late than never. Let's uh, get rid of those guys. But you know what? I've never actually been through that door. Like, I knew there had to be something around, but like... Never found that uh, that Sphinx as a kid. I just know better now. Yeah. Huh. To wait for these guys to clear out, which is going to result in a bunch of enemies. I definitely wanted to jump there because we were getting uh, hyper turtles. Give me that. Get those hyper turtles out of here. Exactly what I'm playing next, actually. In the same vein. Now we have a split path. Let's go this way. I absolutely just went through that one. Well, Turtles in Time is not on this multi card. to get the one on the top first, right? I modded it in? Well, that's too bad. Oh, what's this? Sync is only available for long runs. Also, we just ended up in the torture room. I'll refund your points uh, in, in a bit here. Uh, 
Oh, we got a Hyper Turtle. That's not great. Also, these guys are a bit fast. I don't know if we'll make it through this, uh, this torture room. But yes, this is an example of the game felt like sending you to the torture room, so that's what happened. Oh. Wink sync is something that is used in a uh, during a um, a long run game to pretty much get my thoughts on what's going on. What the? Why was there a a power thing that showed up when I didn't actually open a chest? Or did I reveal a chest? Yeah, that's okay, that's what I have. That's what I have. Let's go up this time. Terrible arena minute in orb. Doing good there for for a bit. Oh. Oh. Ah, hate it when that happens. Coins. Oh, we do now. So close to uh, to getting it perfect there. Let's mess it up at the end. Oh, and a one up. <laughs> the world's the world's worst dating sim, aka real life dating. Look at how fast I lose that game. I have no mighty coins. This is not good. Well, I just kind of stood there. Aha! You heard that explosion there, that is because I got all of the bombs in this room in the correct order, and that gives me a pretty decent uh, point bonus. Oh. 
Eh. Was kind of creeping up on me there. Let's get out of here. We're not done yet. Ow. That wasn't correct. Where is the bonus room? Jeez. That was not the correct order. Also, how did I end up with so many hyper turtles? What's in that box down there? Okay, I screwed myself up there. Um, where it says your GDV, by the way, that's, that's the game deviation value. And that is supposed to be an indication of how well you did. It's supposed to be a value between 0 and 100. It's not programmed very well. Anyway, we got about 7 minutes left. Let's uh, get into... One last try and see how fast we can get through. just getting through stages as quickly as possible. Not gonna worry too much about anything. It's a nice thing with these uh, these vertical stages where you just fall through. The only thing that you have to worry about is like lava and stuff. Guessing you are what you wear is just didn't use a mighty coin. Oh. Well, that strategy kind of collapsed on its face. Bonus coin doesn't really matter if you're not going to collect any more coins free from dogmas. It's dogmas, Christmas for dogs. Okay, well we have a mighty coin if we need it. And then we immediately perish for our sins. Yeah, there are a lot of secrets in this game. And there are secret rooms, there are secret, like, sequences that you can do to get into more rooms. There's secret items, all kinds of stuff. Like, the only way that you'll ever find it all 
is by being either by being incredibly persistent or looking it up. pretty good so far. Beware the false dichotomy. I don't know what that means. Oh, jeez. Alright, that chest had an enemy in it, by the way. That's a thing that can happen that I forgot about. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell the real foos from a false one. You just have to ask her out how EP she is. That was a little dicier than I was hoping for. It is kind of neat to plot a, a map of this game, though. Because, like, you absolutely, like, you absolutely can just make out a map of the entire game. It does, like, connect up all the way. Even, like, the diversion paths in the game connect up as you would expect. Like, you can even kind of see the pyramid shape. Because there are a couple of stages where you end up going outside the pyramid. I think we're coming up on one real soon here. And turns out that the the real way to uh, to survive in this game is to interact with it as little as possible. Ah. I don't like those, uh, those bones in that pit there. I'm guessing that means don't go into the pit. I've had the idea of trying to port this game to Super Mario Bros. X. Unfortunately, I think it's just one of the projects that uh, 
I will muse on about forever and then never actually do. Man, this, uh, this outside stage is, uh, farther out than I thought it was gonna be. Free candy and pet. So yeah, we'll move on to the next game after uh, after I get a game over on this. We are at time. Shrapnel grenade. Here we are, eat my shrapnel. Actually, here we are outside. The one place in the game that has different music. And where you can kind of juke enemies to just have them fly off screen. Also, Mummy is just popping out and popping out out of thin air. Which, I mean, they've been doing basically all game, but like, it's a little more conspicuous when you're outside. Dead. Alright, well, that was Mighty Bomb Jack. And I think I know what I want to play next. And it's actually, I don't think it's going to be on that, uh, that Let's Play playlist. Because that would have been probably a game that I would have ended up playing in full before I did the 101 Let's Play. We'll find out what that game is after the break. So y'all can take a moment. Get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall move on with the next game that uh, we're playing tonight. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 